Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. Here I've got a Pansoon Air Fryer, and this thing does it all. You can bake in here just like a toaster oven with three separate removable shelf racks. And I hate cleaning ovens, so I was glad to see that there's a catch tray here in the bottom that's also important because it carries an attachment here for a second fan to improve circulation. So there isn't just one on the top, there's one on the bottom too. You just cover the fan with a rack when you're going to use the fry basket so it has something to sit on. The handle also has a quick release located here so you can remove the handle. Obviously it's important to not burn your hands when you're pulling the basket in and out. And it's also convenient so you can close the oven door. And believe it or not, this thing comes with a rotisserie in it. And you can use it as a basket or remove the spit rod for meats. The front face is smart technology that's sensitive to the touch, with presets here for things like fish, chicken, french fries or steak, your oven temp adjustment, and your time adjustment. Here you've got a button for the oven light, and a button to turn the rotisserie on. And a second press to the power button will start the air fryer. So let's try cooking some frozen foods on the rack first. Starting with some fried shrimp, some fried calamari, and how about some crab cakes? Get it all closed up, turn it on, we'll set our time and temp, recommended is 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. So we'll start that and we'll turn on the oven light so we can see what's going on in there. And like any timer, there's an alarm that beeps when it's ready. As you can see, the shrimp looks good, the calamari looks good, and the heating element's on top, so you're going to get a little more browning on the top shelf. But what about some meatballs? These are a little thicker, so can it rise to the challenge? Adjust the heat to 350 for another 20 minutes. And I love that there's a window here you can see through. Most air fryers don't have it. And just look how perfect these turned out. And I'll admit, there is a texture difference here on the outside using an air fryer but the inside is very meaty and juicy. But look what happens to all of that extra oil. All of that fat that you could be digesting runs off to the bottom of that tray. Now do you understand the health benefits? Time to test out that rotisserie with a top sirloin roast. You just skew it, adjust the forks on both ends and tighten it down. Now just set it inside on the spit motor. Close the door. And we're going to go slow and low at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. Make sure you turn the rotisserie on. And we are rocking. Now we're going to drop the temp down to 300 and go another 30 minutes. Again, don't forget to push the rotisserie button. And when it's done, it should look something like this. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Now of course we want to go ahead and let this rest for about 15 to 20 minutes before we cut into it. So in the meantime, we can get some veggies going. Olive oil salt and pepper. Just give it a good toss and just fill that rotisserie basket. And As you can see I've added the spit rod back to it. And just close the lid, put it in the air fryer, set it on the spit motor, and I think I'm going to use the french fry preset this time just to try it out. And while that's going, I'm going to go ahead and cut up that top sirloin roast. Huh? Not too shabby. 
Now let's check in on our veggies. I mean, who knew an air fryer could produce a meal like this? But the real test, can it fry chicken? I'm told the secret is to hit it with some olive oil and put it in a sprayer like this so you can just mist the outside of that seasoned flour and still get extra crispy without deep frying. Here I've got the rack stand over the fan so I can set my basket right down on it, pull the handle, shut the dough, and crank this baby up to its recommended time and temp. And get it started. And it would appear that we have some perfectly cooked air fried chicken. You want to just follow the recommendations and use your experience and expertise to get your desired results. And there you have it, Pinsoon Air Fryer right here in the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.